Hello everyone, uh, this is a tutorial how to set up a USB stick with yeah, D-Band on it. I'm Mario from Fixing Factory anyway, and uh, yeah, let's let's do it. What we need is just a USB stick, uh, minimum requirement storage is 5 gig, and I uh, also label it with D-Band name on it, so um, everyone can see which uh, which uh, which uh, operating system uh, or which ESO image is inside. So all we need now is, is a laptop to configure all the steps. Open your Google and in a new tab uh, write Dban downloads and press enter. You can see from the first line, usually second or first, uh, on the official side dban.org you can just uh, press that or source force uh, uh, source force is the same forge sorry so you click the first one this one is the page you click you click, click on the corner on the right download the one and uh, usually it's automatically downloading we have just to wait a few minutes uh, or we can do that manually uh, if it's not loading on the corner uh, we just uh, can um, press problem downloading and uh, directly link but as you can see, it's doing that automatically, so we don't need to do it if uh, it starts. In the meantime, the uh, D1 is the loading. We can install Rufus USB. Of course, we press enter, and it's always the first one, usually, as you can see. So always see on the site, on the top, you can see rufus.ie, so that's the, region, the, the official page, and we click it. It will... Uh, show this page uh, we just go to the uh, little bit on the bottom and download uh, the last version on it uh, of it so it's the 3.2 uh, 3.20 you can click it and it will start to download as well usually it takes short time uh, but if you can't see that uh, you can uh, try to um, uh, reload the page, uh, refresh the page, and then do that again, um, and it will be fine. Okay, so now we have uh, both uh, Rufus and Dban. So now next step is ins insert the USB on the computer. Uh, once it's in insert, uh, we uh, okay, exactly we can hear this uh, little noise, and usually on the uh, bottom of the right we can we can see that USB is connected this is a really important step uh, so we we know that the USB is working and we don't need to uh, buy a new one so we can use that next step now it's find what we downloaded so we open file explorer and download uh, you can you can easily go to quickly access and download and as you can see we have uh, Dban and Rufus. We're going to open Rufus. So let's double click it and it will ask uh, uh, setup. So we um, we, are, we will confirm the permissions. There we go. So we say yes and it's going to open the, uh, the app. That's Rufus and uh, what we need to do now is um, Select our uh, USB stick that is uh, this device here. Uh, it's the only one. Mine is 32 gig. You will see 5 gig or 4 gig, depends on which one. And the name will be just stick one. I name it. I name it a uh, deep one before, uh, but you can just do that. Um, you can leave it uh, as usual. Then we have to select uh, the deep one. So that's the section where we have to. Uh, select the ISO image in this case is the D1 so select make sure you do on the loads and uh, select the D1 ISO image press open and we are back here so we leave all the things uh, as you as you see so uh, MBR uh, BIOS UEFI uh, FAT32 default and uh, 16 kilobytes. That's all default. Uh, it says ready, so what we need to do is to just start. And here we go. Let's do it. Yes, we do. We want to. Um, that's just uh, a warning of all the data inside the USB 
will be destroyed and uh, so make sure the USB is empty before doing it okay and that will take several minutes so I will skip this part for you once we see it's ready uh, we don't uh, start again so we just close this uh, window and it should pop up all the uh, debun um, uh, USB inform uh, files inside so next step now is uh, close everything and eject safely the USB on the corner on the right we just click right click on the uh, USB and eject safely safely next step now uh, take your laptop that you have to uh, clean so use the button on it uh, take the USB and uh, of course so connect it to the laptop uh, depends depends now of the model uh, we try to enter to the bio uh, now I'm pressing F2 uh, one side power uh, power on and it will open uh, the BIOS. Uh, uh, this one is a kind of BIOS, uh, it's a little bit newer. Uh, I will show also uh, another kind of BIOS shortly. Um, we need to go to the boot sequences and uh, try on the right to prioritize USB as it is, but I will show how to do it. You just uh, press that and uh, uh, put on the top uh, now as you can see I can I can move on the bottom but it should be always us first we do apply uh, so all the um, changes are saved and saved and exit another way uh, I think also uh, easily the easiest way now I pressed F2 to enter to the bias uh, but there is actually F12 option that will enter uh, automatically the uh, by uh, the um, bootable um, devices as you can see here we go so you can press the power button and F12 instead of F2 and you will see this um, uh, this interface uh, so you can see there is USB storage I will just press enter and here we go that's uh, uh, the Dubon uh, setup uh, it's explaining all the things if you press F2, F3, F4, uh, enter. But what we need to do is um, enter auto nuke. So we'll just uh, uh, write auto nuke, auto nuke, and press enter. And now we'll run uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, that's uh, the first, the first one. Uh, the Usually it, it takes a lot and you will see on uh, in the end no blue screen anymore uh, will be a dark screen and some green uh, text as well. Let me try with another um, computer as well. In this scenario we have a Toshiba and I'm opening and press F2. Uh, as you can see this one uh, this is a different uh, BIOS, uh, it's the most common in uh, old laptops, uh, we go to the uh, top, uh, moving with the right and left um, to the boot section, and we just need to prioritize the USB stick. Of course, I uh, already insert the USB stick with the debug on it. Um, in this case, to put as a first, we do uh, F5, S6, so we just uh, do F6 to move it to the top. One, two, three, and four. Once it's on top, we can save and exit with F10. F10, uh, yes, so enter. It will boot, and it will boot from a USB stick. Let's uh, wait a few seconds. And here we go. So, uh, same process of the uh, last one. Uh, auto nuke, auto nuke, enter, and we have a running daemon on a computer. Same uh, process. We is going to do is going to do that. Uh, uh, it's going to take a lot of hours, depending of uh, the storage space. 
and uh, in the end you will see a dark screen with some green uh, uh, text and uh, sayings that will be completed. Once it's completed, uh, you can just press hold uh, the power button and take out the USB stick and start as usual. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in Fixing Factory.